My name is Mel Miller Garrett, and I'm a founding member of the Melt Foundation. And by founding member, it means I was one of the original fellows selected to be part of the foundation back in 1991. Um, so subsequent to that, I've been involved in the foundation in a number of ways. I was a junior fellow. I was the first junior fellow rep to the board, and um, went through all the kind of training programs we had in the early 90s, which was primitive in comparison to what we have now. And currently, I serve on the board of directors. So what is Melton Foundation all about? Well, to me, what the Melton Foundation does is really three-pronged. And the first is it identifies uh, young people that are primarily in, emergency, in, in emerging economies and helps inform them as to the impact of the choices they make and as to the impact of what they do with their lives. I think we're at a point in history where the question isn't, am I making an impact? The question is, what is my impact and what do I want my impact to be? So secondly, um, we take those young people and we give them opportunities to develop skills by providing specific training, opportunities to connect and be exposed to great thinkers and emerging leaders of our time. And then the third piece of it is the connection piece, because all of these young people aren't in the same area of the world. They're spread throughout the world through five campuses, as well as um, being from many more nations and backgrounds than that. So it's happening, happening in an atmosphere of being connected with people from all around the world. So as we're equipping them to develop the capacity to come up with shared solutions to global challenges, they're doing it with people who might have a different perspective or insight because they might be living that challenge every day. So since you've said that you walked through all these various levels at, at, at Melton Foundation, how did you walk the talk in your business life, in your life outside Melton? Yes, my, uh, my professional career is that I'm a clinical social worker and I've spent 18 years working with children and families that are involved in abuse and neglect situations, primarily um, with uh, individuals of low socioeconomic status, primarily people of color. And I, after having spent about 16 years doing direct work with families uh, in this capacity, I've moved into an administrative capacity where I work for a, a nonprofit organization. It's a large nonprofit organization in the state of Kansas which serves uh, children and families again that, that are involved primarily in the social welfare system. Then with the answer <laughs> or where you well, I think to... I think the way in which I find the thread of the Mountain Foundation weaving through my life and I'm not sure if it's that the foundation made me who I was or that the foundation and I found each other because who I am fit with the foundation, probably a little bit of both, but um, it gave me a, a background that allowed me to be open to other ideas about how to be in the world, to not just have the solution to give other people, but to help people find their own solution, um, to be open to other perspectives, to understand that the way you may not be logical to me when you deal with people who faced trauma, um, but it makes sense from the position of trauma that they've experienced. So the ability to think, uh, with have critical thinking skills to address the problems of human interaction as well as the larger kind of systemic issues that I face, that's, that's partially my Melton heritage. I also specifically work with victims of human trafficking. Um, so that's a, another emerging field of, of service in the U.S., not necessarily yeah, international, but domestic victims of human trafficking, which is an emerging concept for us to even identify that in the U.S. and to see these young people not as, um, not as bad people, not as, as people who are breaking the law, but people who are truly victims. Okay, we are... These days we are in Bangalore uh, attending the, the Melton Foundation a Global Citizen Conference. Uh, before I'm going to ask you what Global Citizen is for you, what does it mean, what is your takeaway so far from the conference? How did you experience the days here? What I've personally experienced um, through this opportunity 
is a refreshing and a renewing and a reviving of the parts of myself that are open to believing that I can make an impact on a bigger level than just my little piece. And my little piece is enough. There's nothing wrong with making making an impact with where you're at. But again, to see the ripple impact of all those choices I make and to also feel empowered and able to do bigger things because when, when you're at one of these events, whether it's somebody who's part of the Melton Foundation formally or informally because they've been brought into our fold by being presenters and speakers, you see people with expansive thinking that didn't really um, pay attention to the normal box that most of us live in. They, they thought outside the box. So mm. my takeaway is just the strength of the, hu the human capacity and a challenge to myself to continue to look deeper about how I can use the capacities I've been given, the opportunities I've been given to make a positive impact in the areas where I have that opportunity to make an impact. So the very last question, what is for you global citizenship? What does it mean? What does it stand for? To me, a global citizen is someone who is aware of his or her impacts, not only on him or herself, but throughout his or her community, state, nation, world, and to recognize that we don't make impacts just because impacts happen because it's a ripple effect, but we can actually direct those impacts, that we make choices every day that move us in one direction or another in terms of the impacts we make. So the awareness, um, and making informed decisions about what we do with the power that we have. Thank you. Thank you so much.